Hey, what's up guys? I'm Reckless and welcome to Breaking the Fourth Wall. It's Friday, October 27, 2017, and that means it is week number seven of Xur. And Xur is located this week on IO by the wonderful giant Scar. So we are going to mark him real quick, and then we are going to head over there and find out what he got in his quickie mark this week. Xur! What's up, dude? So, like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. We do have the Darcy, which is an ARC sniper rifle. The intended perk on this is Personal Assistant, which you aim at an enemy to view its health and other critical information in the scope. Next, we have Extended Barrel, Extended Mag, oh, mag or Magazine, uh, Acquired Target, or Target Acquired, <laughs> and then Short Attack Stock. Now, I have not really used the Darcy. I actually have a couple of other sniper rifles I like to use which is uh, Alone as a God, and there's another one from which I don't understand why it's not on my character, but whatever. However, there are plenty, plenty of mixed reviews out there on the Darcy, so I am not going to give you guys any type of recommendation on the Darcy, except for if you don't have it, grab it just in case. But when I actually do get time with this, and I actually mess around with it, I will give you guys a good review when it ever comes up ever again. Or I just might do an exotic review on this uh, sniper rifle alone. So with that said, if you don't have it, grab it. And if you don't care for sniper rifles, grab it anyways. You know, just at least get it in your inventory just in case. So next exotic we'll be going over is the Knucklehead Radar for those awesome hunters out there. Gives you a little bit of mobility with uh, twice as much resilience. Intrinsic perk on this is Upgraded Sensor Pack, which provides radar while aiming. Then we have Plasteel Reinforcement Mod as well as Restorative Mod. If you are one of those lonely and pathetic, wonderful hunters who love staring at your radar in PvP, by all means grab this. I'm joking, I'm joking. But no, if you guys actually like looking at your radar when in PvP, and that is actually a huge thing since Destiny 2 does not have a hardcore mode. Oh my god, why? Then by all means go ahead and grab this, but... If you don't care to look at your radar and you play like I do and just run around and actually kill people, you know, with skill, I'm joking again, joking again, then by all means, go ahead and grab this anyways. But all jokes aside, this is definitely a top tier exotic for the Hunter class, so definitely grab this because looking at your radar when uh, pretty much you're trying to finish ADSing takes a long time. So if you can have this on any of your Hunter classes, subclasses that I mean, then by all means, go ahead, grab it. It's definitely a good exotic to get and definitely top tier. So in PvP, I would consider this at least a tier two, which is pretty good on the tier scale. And in PvE, I would not suggest this at all because it's really not that good because you really don't need to look at your radar when you're in PvE. So yeah, by all means, go ahead and grab it. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Actium War Rig for the Titan class. And you get a little bit of mobility and recovery with twice as much resilience. And the intrinsic perk on this is auto loading link, which steadily reloads a portion of your equipped auto rifles magazine from reserves. Next, we have Plasteel Reinforcement Mod as well as Restorative Mod. And real quick, going back to Knucklehead Radar, you also get the Impact Absorption Mod. And now going back to the Acting War Rig, we also get uh, Power Munition. Uh, loader. So, I'm going to just say this. Go ahead and buy it. This thing is amazing in PvE and PvP as long as you have auto rifles. I would say, most of all, if you can get an energy auto rifle and then in your kinetic weapons, you want to equip the sweet business because this thing is fucking amazing with the sweet business it's just oh my god it is godly the sweet business with the actium war rig in pve or pvp and then have a auto rifle inside your energy weapon slot is just beastly it's godly you barely run out of ammo when you have the actium war rig on with the sweet business and a secondary auto rifle it's just amazing. 
So PvE, PvP, this this thing right now is probably one of the better exotics for the Titan class in Destiny 2. And for that being alone, and I'm not really a Titan player, but I'm excited about this thing. Because I have one and I freaking love it. I'm giving this a 1.5 in the tier scale for PvE and PvP. You can see how excited I'm getting about this exotic. And the thing is, I main a Voidwalker Warlock. And I love this thing on my Titan. So by all means, go ahead and grab it. Last but not least, the final exotic that we have is Eye of Another World. For the Warlock class, it gives you a little bit of mobility with twice as much recovery. Chance of perk on this is um, Cerebral Uplink, which... Highlights priority targets and improves the regeneration speed of your grenade, melee, and rift abilities. And then we have mobility enhancement mod as well as restorative mod. And this also comes with an impact absorption mod, which increases the armor's resilience, allowing you to absorb more damage. Now, my thing on this exotic. This is one of the three or one of the few exotics that you get early on in the game as a warlock. So buying it from Xur is kind of pointless. As soon as you get one, then you pretty much have another one that is level 20 that's waiting for you in your vault when you hit level 20. So I really don't see the point in buying this at all. I mean, why waste 23 legendary shards, you know? Why waste 23 legendary shards when you can have the Kernstein armlets? <laughs> I'm joking. But yes, I do feel that the Kernstein armlets are a better exotic. This thing is just sitting here. You know, I have another world. I, I don't really use it. You know, I, I should just do something with it. But I don't really use mine because I, I love the Kernstein armlets in PvE and PvP as well. Um, just that extra huge boost of melee, grenade, and class ability energy is just like amazing on your Warlock. So, buying this is kind of redundant. It is a good exotic, kind of, ish, but there are better exotics out there. And I, I probably would still even use the Nezarak Sin over Eye of Another World, from which I'm probably going to go to the tower. Actually, better yet, let's do it. So, I actually came to the tower in order to get my Nezarek Sin, and for good reason, because I am going to just destroy something real quick. Let's check this. Uh, Impact Absorption mod. That's nice, but no. Whoops. Just for the simple fact that I feel that the Nezarek Sin is even a better exotic than the eye of another world and we're just gonna lock that bitch right there and that my friends brings us to the end of the video like and share it if you felt it was helpful subscribe and turn on notifications for more destiny content feedback really helps me out thank you guys for all of your support and remember less guns doesn't mean less crime and i will see you guys next time